Hey guys, it's Karima and welcome back to another video. So I wanted to start this one off a little different and show you guys my early morning routine, my 6 a.m. morning routine. I'm gonna be honest, I did hit that snooze button a time or three, but I did get up nice and early. I still got up before seven, so I was proud of myself. I'm just rolling out of bed. I'm gonna open up my windows and get ready for my day. So first and foremost, I like to start off with a little bit of hygiene. So I am going to rinse my mouth out and brush my teeth and then jump right into my skincare routine. And if you're interested, I'm using the charcoal mouthwash by the Hello brand and I use Arm & Hammer toothpaste. So you guys already know that I'm a full-time registered nurse and I now have to wear a face mask 100% of the time and it's really taking a toll on my skin so I really had to step up my skincare routine. I'm washing my face morning and night, I'm exfoliating twice a week and I am now using my facial cleanser brush daily. I'm using the Tao Clean Orbital Facial Brush and you guys, I love it. For one, it's actually gentle enough to use daily. This is not my first time using facial brushes. I actually used to use the Clarisonic, but I couldn't use it daily because it was just too harsh on my skin. But with the Daily Care brush head, I can actually use this brush daily and I love that. Not only is the brush head gentle enough for daily use, this system comes with a unique charging station that disinfects the brush head using UV light technology so it kills up to 99% of bacteria. So this is what it looks like up close. So as you can see, it's pretty compact and won't take up much space on your vanity. And when you're done using it, all you have to do is rinse off the brush head Place it back on the charging dock and you'll notice that the light turns blue. That is activating the UV light. There's actually a button on the bottom of the charging station that's activated by the weight of the brush head. So once you put the brush head back on the charging dock, it presses that button down on your counter. So I wanted to show you some of the problem areas I was having from wearing a mask constantly. As you can see, my jawline, I am breaking out all along my cheek and jawline. But after using the towel facial brush for a little less than a month, as you can see, a lot of the breakouts have healed. I just now have to deal with the hyperpigmentation. The system comes with two brush heads, one for daily care and one for exfoliation. And they now offer a new sensitive brush head that you can purchase with your system. So if you're interested in purchasing one for yourself and giving it a try, Tao Clean is offering 62% off to my subscribers. All you have to do is click on the link in my description box and use my code. Around your arms instead of being lonely We could be gazing at the stars But now it feels just like I wandered off into a room And closed the door behind me I never gave the So after I'm done cleansing my skin I like to apply toner And then I like to apply moisturizer With some sort of SPF I should be trying something new But now my body's sick I'm tired of dwelling in the dark It's just that my heart can't take it I didn't know what it would cost me when I let you go I have a lot of things to get done today So I'm just gonna hop in the shower and just get dressed and ready for my day Even though it's so early Because I'm pretty much going to be on go mode all day It could have been you What a crime and what a shame to let go Sometimes I just don't know what to do. It should have been you. 
So if you're following me on Instagram, you know that I've been going to the gym. I've been training and working out in the evenings. So I decided to just put on my workout clothes now because I'm probably not going to have time later to come home and change before I go to the gym. I ended up cutting the shirt because I just didn't love the way it hung. And plus I like to keep it real light for the gym. I'm usually wearing shorts and some type of crop top because it is steaming hot here in Texas. And obviously we're gonna be hot working out in the gym. So I like to keep it light and comfortable. So I'm going to keep it 100% real with you guys. I don't always do this, but before I headed out, I decided to make my bed. I really enjoy coming home to a freshly made bed, but that's just not always my reality. But when I do have the time to do it, I like to get it done. I needed to straighten up my room before I left, so I definitely made the bed. So I ended up doing some grocery shopping. I ran out to Aldi and many of times you guys have told me you want me to include the grocery haul. So I'm going to show you what I got from Aldi. I wanted to do it vlog style, but there was just way too many people in my house. So I'm going to narrate in voiceover right here on the island is all the fruits and veggies. So here I bought, you can see a bag of pink lady apples. I have a bag of red onions and I bought a couple of avocados. Right behind the avocados are some zucchinis. That's a two pack of zucchinis. Um, that's my kombucha. Love that stuff, really good. I bought a head of lettuce. Bought two heads of lettuce actually. I got some broccoli. I got a bunch of bananas. I got a bag of potatoes and I also got some frozen broccoli. We like to use that for different recipes. I got two dozen eggs. I got some green onions, some mushrooms and some blueberries. I also got a seedless cucumber. I got a handful of mangoes and a bag of tomatoes. I got a bag of carrots and some squeeze pouches for my son. He just calls them applesauce, so I got him some applesauce. I got some strawberries, frozen and fresh. I got a bag of green beans, frozen green beans. I got two bags of those, I believe. Yeah, there it goes. And I got a bag of grapes. I also got some spinach and some frozen fruit for smoothies. I also got some hot dogs and some hot dog buns. I think I got two of each, two packs of hot dogs and two packs of hot dog buns. I got a couple of boxes of the breakfast sausage. It's just the easy breakfast and my daughter really likes them. I got a bag of cinnamon raisin bagels for my husband and Kingston. Cause me and Chloe, we don't do raisin. I got some Hawaiian rolls. That's the other pack of hot dog buns. I got a bag of shrimp. 
I got two bags of shrimp, actually. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand. I got two packages of ground turkey. I got a two pound bag of wild caught pink salmon. And I got a two pound bag of Alaskan cod. I also got a bag of hash browns for breakfast. We love those. I got some tortillas for quesadillas. I got some garlic in a jar because I'm being lazy. Sour cream and mustard. Now you guys know it wouldn't be me if I didn't get something from the Aldi Finds Owl. So I got my son a new puddle jumper and sun hat. So it is actually two days later. After I put my groceries away, I was pretty much running errands for the rest of that day. I ended up going to the gym that night and I didn't get back home till about eight o'clock. Had to get the kids ready for bed and I called it a night. So here it is a few days later because I ended up having to work in between and I'm kind of getting my kitchen together and I wanna prep all those fruits and vegetables that I bought from Aldi. I am wearing my bathing suit because I do plan on hopping in the pool with the kids later. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys what I purchased from Costco real quick. I actually purchased this, I don't know, a few weeks ago. I just haven't opened it yet. Um, I mentioned it in my last video. I told you guys, not my last video, but one of my previous videos not too long ago, I mentioned that they had these on sale because I, you guys always ask me where I get mines from. The original set that I keep my produce in, I got those from Aldi, my fruits and vegetables, but Costco had these Pro Keeper containers on sale. And I think it was like two weeks ago. So I hope you guys saw that video and you went out and got you some because I did. I wanted a few more for myself and I wanted it on sale. They have the really big one in this set for the lettuce, 
and this size as well another one of the large size I have this size in two small ones so now I'll have an additional one and the really large size so I'm really excited about that and this is the type of Tupperware that I use this was also on sale that week I didn't mention it but I did grab it because a couple of ours have broken this is the same set we already have but a few of ours broke you hear Kingston in the background, guys. He's watching TV. So I wanted to get a few more just to replace those ones that broke. And you can never have enough tubware. I really like the glass. This is the Pyrex, Pyrex Snapware brand. I like glass tubware because I just don't like heating up plastic in the microwave. And when you're heating up leftovers, I can just stick this in the microwave, heat it up, and feed the family. So it just makes my life easier. So I wanted to share that. I have my sink full of soapy water. I'm gonna just hand wash the dishes that need to be hand washed, including my new sets here, and then we can start the prepping. Kingston. Keep it up like this. We hurt each other's feelings on and on. I don't wanna change. Now that all the dishes are washed and are drying, I'm gonna get right into the meal prepping and I am starting with boiled eggs. I eat tons of boiled eggs. I mean, we pretty much eat boiled eggs every day, my daughter and I. So I'm gonna boil about a carton of eggs in my Instapot. I showed you guys this before, but it's really simple to do. All you have to do is add a cup of water and I'm using the egg setting on my Instapot, but that's pretty much just high pressure for five minutes and an instant release when it's done. So I've also shared this before, but I like to prep all my fruits and vegetables because it's more likely to be eaten and nothing will go to waste if it's already prepared and ready to go in the fridge. I just let them soak in some warm water and I add a little bit of white vinegar to clean them. So 
So I usually let them soak for about five or so minutes and then I pour them in my colander to rinse them off with some cool water. So I'm going to prep all my fruits and vegetables the same way. It's actually really helpful for myself when preparing meals if all the veggies are chopped and clean and I can just take them out the fridge and start cooking. So I don't only do this for my kids, I do this for my sanity as well. You know we should work it out Before I'm too invested I should probably ask you Ask you all my questions Get to know you better You guys, I really love these produce keeper trays because I do notice that my fruits and vegetables do last a lot longer. It's either that or I'm using them quicker, but at the end of the day, they're not going bad. Each tray comes with instructions, so it will tell you if the fruit or vegetable should be wet or dry, or it needs to be vented or unvented. So these are definitely a good purchase. I do plan on getting those Produce Keeper papers that Jessica Tool uses. I wanna give those a try as well. Also guys, don't forget to check out the Tao Clean Orbital Brush. Use my link and code in the description box to get 62% off before this deal ends. I promise you guys are going to love this brush. So here are all my fruits and vegetables and my eggs that I got prepped for the day. I felt really accomplished. I wanted to take a break and hang out with the kids at the pool for a little bit before I start dinner. You guys know I usually add a recipe at the end of all my videos, so see what we have for dinner tonight. you stay so I 
what to do I'm just staring at my walls and talking to myself now and then I'll try to laugh but I'll cry a bit as well I was never any good at being away from you I met you in the summer when you left it was cold said we loved one okay we had a blast in the pool and if you remember that picture of Kingston falling asleep this was that day so I just showed you the tortillas because I am making salmon quesadillas um, I was feeling really festive this day, so I ended up making salmon quesadillas and some steak salads. My aunt put a couple of steaks in the oven, so I made a salad to go with it. So I did not come up with this recipe on my own. I actually never heard of salmon quesadillas, but my friend made them and they looked so good when she posted it. So thanks Amber for the idea. But right now I'm just adding a little oil to the pan to saute my pepper and onions. So we had a few salmon fillets left over from dinner the night before so I'm just taking the remainder and chopping it up to place inside the quesadillas and I'm cutting up some steak for the kids because my kids don't eat salmon. The chopped up steaks are going to be for steak quesadilla for the kids and these are the steaks that we just took out of the broiler. Those are going to go on top of the salads. So this is how we assemble the quesadillas. Nice and easy. Slap down a tortilla, pile on your cheese however much you like. I'm just crumbling up the salmon on top of the cheese. I'm adding the pepper and onions on top of that and then I'm going to add another layer of cheese so the top tortilla can stick. Here are the final results of the meal guys. This was so good. If you try it, let me know. This is the end of the video. Thank you to my lovelies who always watch to the very end. I love you guys very much and I'll see you in the next one. Just us. Said we wouldn't let